I will show you what I was thinking when I was planning this migration and how many stages I had and what things I considered while building the plan. Okay, so I had four stages of development. Stage one is building core functionalities. So here you will build network calls, databases, Im image implementation, deep links, push notifications, analytics, and crash analytics. So all these things are very critical and very important for our application. And I call them core functionalities. So if you're planning migration, you have to build these things first. Okay, that's why it is stage one. So what is stage two? So in stage two, we have to build product features. Okay, for example, login, for example, home, stories, profile, payments, and booking. So on the right side, you can see an example of airplane booking. So yeah, you can have login, home, stories, profile, payments, booking, and a lot of other features that can be included in stage two of the development. Then what is stage three? The so stage three is building plugins or finding the plugins. So basically you have to make sure that you have all plugins in stage three. And if you do not have that plugin, you have to build by yourself. Let's see some examples of the plugins. Payment plugin, map plugin, fitness plugin, camera plugin, or video plugin. So these were the examples of plugin. So this was the stage three. The stage four is very critical and that is compatibility. In compatibility, you have to make sure that your older app is compatible with your newer app. Okay, your older app can be in Android, your newer app can be in Flutter, but you want to make sure that your older app looks very similar to new application. Okay, it should not look different, right? If user find out that you have migrated your app, but it is very different from the older one. Okay, the user might not use your app. If by chance you have played with the user experience, then definitely he is not gonna love that. Okay, so let's see what are the compatibility things we have. The first one is the authentication information. Okay, if a user has already logged in in your older app, okay, so after upgrade, you wanna make sure that user is not re login again. Okay. For example, if I am logged in into my Facebook application and tomorrow Facebook releases a migrated app which is migrated into Flutter, I would not like if Facebook asked me to log in again, right? So that is authentication information and you, you should make sure that authentication information is not lost. Next is local DB data. You want to make sure that all the local DB data which were in the application should be there. For example, if tomorrow WhatsApp is migrated to Flutter, right? You don't, you do not want to lose your chat, right? So yeah, that is local DB data. So you should make sure that your new app should adopt the old DB data. The next thing is user interface. User interface is very important. You don't want to play with user interface. Either you can make it better, but don't make it bad. Okay, and make sure that your older apps user interface looks very similar to your new apps user interface. Last and very important thing is user experience. Okay. So if your user have loved your older app, he would love to see the same experience or better experience in the newer app. 